Welcome to XR Template Tutorial Lesson Number 77. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about another new feature in XR Web Designer MX Premium Version 8. And the new feature that we're going to talk about is the ability to stretch an object on the page using the stretch attribute. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is go to the upper left hand corner of your screen to your toolbar and select the quick shape for, for a rectangle. And let's go ahead and draw a rectangle in our workspace. And I'm going to adjust the size of this rectangle a little bit uh, just so that we can fit a little bit more information in there because I'm going to place some text on top of this uh, rectangle. And I'm going to also adjust the color that way it's a little bit brighter and easier for you to see on the screen. And once I have that and once you have yours drawn as well let's go ahead and right click on this uh, rectangle go to position on page and let's set it to uh, stretch with page. And once you set that to stretch to page, let's go ahead and adjust the page size. If we were to bring this page up and make it smaller, you'll see that the rectangle gets smaller. If we were to stretch it taller, you see that the rectangle gets taller. And another thing that I want to take in, a, in account here and let you know about is that is if you adjust the width of the page, the object will respond to the width adjustment as well. And if you've watched any of my other tutorials, you'll notice that none of the other uh, attributes respond to the width of the page. But in this case, the stretch width page attribute does respond to that. So uh, that's something to think about as well. So you might be wondering, you know, what is this going to be used for? What is the practical use of being able to stretch an object with page? Well, one of the ways that I can see the benefit of using it is uh, if you had text on top of this and you want the text to always have this rectangle background behind it. So let's go ahead and, and grab the text tool from our toolbar and, and draw that in our workspace on top of this rectangle. And hit Control Shift L to make some fictitious text on top of the rectangle. And then I'm going to actually select all this text and I'm going to make it white. And once I do that, I'm going to go ahead and select the text and right click on it and go to position on page and set it to push and we're going to set the push margin to about a hundred pixels and make sure you check the box that says push and then hit apply and then hit close so now if we were to add more text to the text area we've already created and hit control shift L you'll notice that it pushes the page down and because the the rectangle behind it is set to stretch with page it will automatically grow as well so basically what's happening here is we're eliminating some steps that we would normally have to take to uh, add more text to the page and also keep the background consistent so let me let me explain to you here what's happening uh, the background is stretching with the page and the page is being forced to grow because we set the text to push so First, the text pushes the page to make it taller, and the rectangle behind it responds and grows because we set it to stretch with page. So you're eliminating the step of having to adjust the size of your rectangle, and you're also eliminating the process of having to stretch your page so that your text stays on there as well. So it's an, it's an efficiency kind of thing. It's going to improve your efficiency by combining uh, some of the attributes by using it on different objects. So in this case we've used the push attribute uh, for the text and we've used the stretch attribute for the background. So you can apply different different attributes to different objects and bring them together to allow you to reduce the amount of steps it takes to complete a task uh, when you're designing your website. Hopefully you're following me and what I'm saying here. If not, no problem. Feel free to send me a message on YouTube. You know, uh, don't forget to embed or subscribe. And if you need a specific tutorial that you would like to see created, definitely shoot me a message. Give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. And I hope that you stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.